does anybody remember this face? Hi, I'm Tori, and um, I've been gone for a long time. Before I talk about books and any other updates, let me just say the first update, I obviously changed my channel name before I was Medusa Reed and I changed it to Tori Dreaming just because I wanted to incorporate my name in stuff and I also wanted to add not just bookish things but maybe some gaming, like I'm not like a huge gamer but that's pretty much all I do is go to work, be a mom, read, and play games, so. I look a mess right now, you can't really tell. And honestly, this lighting is really working for me. Why did the sun do that right when I said that though? I cannot tell you guys how many times I've tried to make a video. More than five, I will say that, and they've all ended up in the garbage. And honestly, right now, I'm still really anxious, but I'm trying to just force myself just a little bit just to see how I feel about doing videos again. I did want to try to vlog because that's mainly what I did and that's what I enjoy doing. I know a lot of people like don't like vlogs and some people do. I definitely love vlogs. It's just it feels like you're with a friend and getting to know that person who is vlogging and reading and you get to know them more and you it just feels more personal. So I don't know how well this is gonna go but if you guys do see this video just give me like a round of applause or something pat on the back but if not then it, i won't be surprised either so we'll see i tried to do a reading vlog for or at least start one for middle grade march because lately i've been getting super into middle grade i'm just gonna tell you guys what i'm currently reading and what i might read what i'm reading now is whispering pines and i know there are prompts for middle grade march i know the only one that i can remember right now is read a book with a silhouette on the cover but I know you can read any middle grade and that's basically that counts as participation for middle grade March so I'm basically just choosing whatever middle grade books I have on my shelf and just going with the flow but right now I am reading Whispering Pines and I've tried to mainly get spooky books or I'm on like on the lookout for spooky middle grade so we have Ray and her family I think her sister and her mom move into a new town called Whispering Pines and in this town she meets Caden. Him and his mom I'm pretty sure they can like talk to the dead that kind of thing so they have a company where they help other people with like ghost problems. His brother is missing and he is holding on to a secret and in this town kids go missing and when they come back their eyeballs are missing like just like hollowed out eye like they're gone. So that intrigued me and I picked this up and I'm liking it. I don't know why I'm like going so slow. It's just that reading slump, that physical reading slump I'm going through. Ray's dad is missing so she is trying to solve this mystery and she believes that like Caden can help and like things might be connected and there's this lab. What is it called? Green On? There's this like lab in the city and Green On is like part of everything. Kind of sus if you ask me, like anybody who's reading this book or knows this book I don't know what Green On's deal is, but it's something for sure. One of the kids came out of the woods. Her eyes were missing. Ray and Caden called the police and the police called Green On, which is really weird because Green On's like a company that employs basically like the whole town. So very weird if you ask me. What made me get into the spooky book, the spooky middle grade I should say, is this book. As soon as I seen this cover, it was like I immediately ordered it and then I read it and I could not put it down. I discovered through Gavin's channel from How to Train Your Gavin and he did like a reading vlog where he um, camped outside and <laughs> while he was reading this, I just knew I had to get it and so I did so this is because of Gavin literally and thank you so much because it's one of my favorite books that I've read this year so far I also just recently read this book a game of fox and squirrel which is so good it does deal with domestic abuse anxiety middle grade books are just a whole nother level of amazing so that's why I'm just like I just want to read every middle grade that I can get my hands on and that's what I'm doing 
my goal for 2021 was to actually read the thickest books on my shelf and as soon as i read hide and seeker i was like you know what my goal is to read all the middle grade so yeah i pushed that other goal aside and i'm reading middle grade i believe this, i'm gonna start this one after i finish whispering pines i have like a little list of what i'm gonna start right after that book so amari and the night brothers the circus of stolen dreams maybe i'll do just like a middle grade reading vlog. that's what this is wow okay i do have night books and the canyon's edge those are most of the books that i'm gonna try to get to this month i'm at least gonna start a few of them and then i'll just carry them over to the next month and the next one after that if i have to no pressure i definitely want to read a lot of middle grade just because i think as an adult it gets really hard to remember what it's like to be a kid and remember that the world feels so big and that everything it just like comes down on you even like the littlest thing i feel like uh, some parents would be like oh get over it. it's just this it's just that but to that kid when you're when you're that young that's i mean things mean a lot to you they feel like they are a lot because they are so i just feel like i need to take a second and remember what it's like to be a kid because the world feels so so big i don't want to forget that when my own son is that age like, i'm sure like i'll make mistakes obviously like obviously i just want to remember that everything is just really different like in the perspective of a child i don't know they go through a lot too and i feel like some sometimes grown-ups don't realize that and they forget that so yes very thankful for middle grade hello it is monday so um i still have whispering pines to finish but but i'm almost done almost done I have my Alcrate Jr. box. I'm so excited. I'm gonna unbox it, then I'm gonna read, then I'm gonna finish with Spring Pines. I have to. Because I said that I was gonna finish my book and my reward was gonna be playing games. So I just fell asleep and then I ended up playing games anyway. Here, I'll just like do this and pretend I'm like a, a great unboxer. I only see this in the videos. Okay, so this theme let me tell you the story after i tell you the theme let me tell you the story of why i got this so the theme is elephants on a parade for march and this is the march box before i was subscribed to fairy loot and i was really happy because they have like a long waiting list and i got two boxes from them before i unsubscribed to switch over to alcrate jr I feel i would be super happy with a middle grade box because i'm getting more into middle grade it's making me happy right now and once I found out that the theme for March was elephants, I had to because elephants are my favorite. So that was a sign for me to switch over to Alcrate Jr. And that's what I did. And so this being my first box from Alcrate Jr. is just... Okay, let me move on. Oh, I see the cutest thing. Okay, I'm getting tear up a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait. Do you see this? I'm actually... <laughs> Okay, it's not that serious, Tori. I'm just like so happy right now. These are like tears of joy. Look how cute. This is for sure going on my bookshelf. Oh no, when I start to like cry, my nose gets red. Oh, this is Leroy, the cutest stuffed elephant. Yes. It's elephant eraser. Oh my god, the tears again. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this as an eraser because why would I do that? No. Oh my gosh. It's an eraser in the shape of an elephant. Jumbo elephant eraser from Uli will take care of mistakes, big or small. This, I am gonna hide from my son because he can't have any of this stuff. It's an elephant gel pen. And I can say right now, this is amazing and the cutest thing ever. There's two books in this box, which is amazing. This one is a paperback and it is the one and only Ivan and i don't know what it's about i'm sorry i'm apparently it's about an elephant and a gorilla now a major motion picture which i oh wow oh wow. okay well, look how the writing is it's one huge which is amazing and two there's not a lot of words like on the page Ooh. oh omg okay i'm sorry i'm just like happiness this clip is happiness right now like you guys are witnessing happiness so Ivan is an easygoing gorilla living in a shopping mall. He has grown accustomed to humans watching him through the glass 
walls of his domain. He rarely misses his life in the jungle. In fact, he hardly ever thinks about it at all. Instead, Ivan thinks about TV shows he's seen, his friends Stella and Bob, and painting. Then he meets Ruby, a baby elephant taken from her family, and she makes Ivan see their home and his own art through new eyes. When Ruby arrives, change comes with her, and it's up to Ivan to make it a change for the better. This sounds really good and really cute. I feel like there's another book. I saw it at the store literally yesterday or two days ago, and I'm pretty sure I saw this one and another one next to it. I I don't know if it was the same one. I'll put it up here if I find it. But um, yeah, still excited to get to it. And there's one more book in here that they included in this box. This is the Owl Crate Jr. exclusive edition. And this is the elephant in the room. Okay, I just got goosebumps. Like, I'm so happy. See, this was... See, that me switching to Owl Crate Jr. from Fairy Loot was a sign. A good sign. And I'm happy. Like, you saw my tears of joy. Literally. So we have the cutest elephant bookmark. And it's the same on both sides i think and the cutest little sticker i don't know what i'm gonna do with this but how freaking adorable the author's note i won't read it but it is so cute a moving story of family separation and the importance of the connection between animals and humans this sounds so good and i'm so excited this sounds really good oh my gosh okay when i tell you elephants are <laughs> my favorite Let's see. Instead of providing a promotional item with our book this month, we asked Penguin Random House Canada to donate to elephantatics.org. Wow. This beautiful bookmark and our monthly sticker were designed by Daughter Earth Illustration. Wow. 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 Okay. That's so cool. And then we have the theme for April, and that's Legendary Courage. Next month's book is an Owned Voices middle grade fantasy debut all about powerful spirits, family, and folklore. This story will be perfect for fans of Love, Sugar, Magic, The Storm Runner, and Arusha, and The End of Time. I've never heard of these books at all, but this sounds good. I'm here for it. I will absolutely look into it. So yeah, I'm super happy. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm really happy that I switched over to Alcrate Jr. Elephant Fact Corner. Okay, I'm not going to read these. I'll, I'll just like read them by myself. Oh, there's the other book. So this is the one and only Ivan. And then the other book is right here. The one and only Bob. Okay, I probably put it up already. But that was the book I keep seeing like in at the store. So I'm so happy. So let me just stop talking so that I can finally read for sure for real this time. Because I have been slacking big, big time. I've been playing games and um, sleeping. I'm gonna put this on my very small middle grade but growing shelf and finish my book. We finally finished Whispering Pine and it was a lot going on I feel like but it was really creepy and spooky like it had its spooky parts and creepy parts like uh, like uncomfortable creepy parts so that was fun and i think this was like pitched as stranger things meets x files and it's definitely that i definitely got some stranger things vibes from this just because of like there is this place called the other place and it's very like supernatural supernatural things aren't my favorite but i specifically am talking about like supernatural ghost stories like those aren't my favorite when they're actually like ghosts but this definitely gives like stranger things x files vibes like there's mention of ghosts there's witches in this there's talk of aliens and the missing dad ray's dad I was hoping there would be a lot more of that in the book but there wasn't until like they just talked about it in the beginning and then the very end like I feel like it can I don't know if this is gonna be a series or if this is a series but I feel like how it left off can definitely be one and I would probably read more just because I do want to find out about Ray's dad and the way it ended I would like to know more so glad I finally finally finished this so now I can actually play my games and like 
deserve to play them. I'm also listening to Amari and the Night Brothers on audio and I'm not gonna pick that up until I go back to work tomorrow. Okay, so hello. It's been a few days. March is almost over. I turn on my PS4 and I realize I haven't updated my vlog in quite a few days. So hello, it is Sunday, March whatever, 28th, I think. I don't know. The next book that I listen to on audio, I don't have a physical copy. I listen to what is it called? The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise. I have been eyeing this book for so long because the cover, I don't know why, the cover has just been like grabbing my attention every time I go to the bookstore. But I'm like, well, I really like it. Usually I really love adventure stories. I do. Sorry if you can hear my dryer. I'm doing laundry. But um, usually I really love adventure stories. And this book is one big adventure. Literally, you're on the road throughout the whole book and that's because the main character coyote and her dad rodeo live in a school bus and just travel and they live in a school bus they lost her mother and her two sisters in a car accident and their her dad just wanted to get away so they decided to live in a school bus and go across the country and she calls her grandma and one day her grandma tells her that the park in her neighborhood is being torn down and being like turned into like a highway or something and there is something in that park that coyote needs to get before this happens so the whole book is a journey to get back to the park without her father rodeo knowing because her dad will not go back there for any reason whatsoever because he does not want to go through the pain of being there so she is convincing him to uh drive like towards there toward her hometown without letting him know and on the way they pick up so many people it is found family like a huge found family book um and i love that and so yeah it's basically just one big journey and i read that but let me tell you the reason why i wanted to do this update is because in the book their first passenger that they pick up is a cat and like i think it's like the first chapter and she names the cat ivan because her favorite book is the one and only ivan i got this in the alcrate junior box and i was like this is so perfect after i finish that book i can read this book because i mean i feel like that's a sign also it's it was available on my libby app and i finished coyote sunrise while i was at work so immediately after that i started listening to the one and only ivan and let me tell you like i like teared up at the end a little bit of the remarkable journey of coyote sunrise and i started tearing up at the beginning of this i don't know like i just, i was like okay i need something lighter and lighter like it's getting lighter and lighter but this is also kind of sad but basically you're like in the eyes of ivan and it's kind of heart-wrenching so i'm really excited for this and i think there's a movie yes now a major motion picture so i think i'm gonna make that part of my thing because it is a few days until march is over so this will probably be the last book i read i'm probably going to continue on with my middle grade just throughout the year but after i read this i'm gonna go ahead and watch the movie because i actually i've seen no trailers this is like the first time i'm hearing about this book too besides me seeing it on the shelf the shelves in the store i think i'm gonna watch the movie after i read the book and that'll be like a nice end to middle grade march and then i'll continue with middle grade whenever i feel like it right now i turned on my ps4 it's right staring at me i'm gonna play you some games and then i'm gonna probably play my switch and then when monday comes around i'll probably continue listening to the audiobook of the one and only ivan and hopefully before the end of march i can watch the movie but i just wanted to update you guys about my reading that it's going great watching the one and only Ivan let me tell you so good the movie really good the book really good both really good 
they both were really sad but one thing i did like was they changed the character matt it made him so much better in the movies like he's not the way he is in the book and i really love that because in the book i was really upset and sad the way he treated the animal i don't like the way he was acting and treating the animals in the book and in the movie it was totally different so i'm really really happy about that it was sad but like a happy ending at the same time i'm really glad i read it i'm really glad it came in the alcrate jr box you know with the elephant i just obviously had to and it's middle grade it was a sign especially since the book i read previous to this for middle grade march the remarkable journey of coyote sunrise her favorite book in that book was the one and only ivan and she named the cat ivan after the one and only ivan so i, I just thought it was fitting so it all worked out really really well so i'm glad i ended middle grade march with this book with that movie and it just it was just a good time so i'm really happy about that i finished on a good note on a good book i'm happy okay off topic of like middle grade march it's over it's done let me talk to you about a game i've been playing i want to make a video about the games that i have on my switch or recently playing and recently i put this on my switch um the skin and it was i thought it was gonna be easier it wasn't but i did it i did the best i could but yeah look at this but yeah i put this on my switch and i've been playing this game the cutest game ever called calico and you're basically a magical girl running a magical cafe in a magical little town and there's cats everywhere and me and cats don't like you know but this game is like the cutest game in the world if you're looking for a cozy game cozy vibes like cozier than animal crossing that's like stress like animal crossing to me now is stressful because i'm not that creative i see everybody making their island and it's super cool i can't do that anyways off top what am i off topic though i want to kind of like just go through a list of the books that i did read for middle grade march if i leave any out i will put them down in the description i I think one of the first ones I read was Seance Tea Party, which was a really, really stunning graphic novel. But this is about um, a girl who has a friend and she's a ghost and it's about basically moving on like in the afterlife and making friends and growing up and getting old and go through that and I thought it was really cute. I highly recommend to read around like fall or like in October because it's truly like it gives you all those like fall vibes oh duh the other books so i read the one and only ivan seance tea party whispering pines ama unbound amari and the night brother the canyon's edge which was a tough read and then the remarkable journey of coyote sunrise i think that's all if i left any out i'll just put them below but overall i think it was a good reading month i wish i could have read more but that didn't happen and i'm not mad at it i really hope this vlog makes it out into the world because i'm still having doubts hopefully i will make another video soon hopefully i still feel like in this good mood but again i do want to make a video about my switch games and see how that goes thanks for watching if you're still here like i appreciate you so much if you're still here after all this time i haven't been uploading so i appreciate you and thank you and i will see you hopefully soon Thank <music> you.